Daniel has come to judgment. Today is a great day for Nigeria. The Nigerian judiciary had proved itself to be the guardians for justice and fairness against the sirens of deception. It's a battle between the will of the people and the forces of misinformation and disinformation. But democracy has finally triumphed. Like the bird phoenix, it rises from the ashes, resolute and unyielding. And in this age of information, discernment is our greatest armor and unity is our strongest force. We have the instructions of our clients as soon as possible to go to the Supreme Court. We have asked for the records. So we have, today as you saw in court, we have asked for the records, we have asked for the judgment, we are going to apply for transmission of records because we have a very limited time to push this. So the struggle continues and as it is said, it is not over until, until it is, it is over. over. And the judgment has been delivered, but we have not received justice. Luckily, the Constitution has given us the right to go on appeal. This is a court of first instance to go on appeal to the Supreme Court. And you see, this is a struggle that is not just for our clients, but for the constitution of this country, for the rule of law. And for democracy. For democracy. What happened about the judgment is just telling us that our constitution has been strangled and that a common man will never get justice because justice is bought with money. So it means the highest bidder gets the justice. If a country of over 200 million, some few people can determine the fate of others in abstract, not holding to substance, I think it is something that we shouldn't even uh, have had in a nation like this. But be it as it may, I know the greatest judges over there in heaven. It came as a surprise, and at the same time it didn't come as a surprise because uh, we are part of the system and we are Nigerians and we know how the system runs. So, but then it's also, um, it only, you know, demoralized the judiciary system and the belief you have in the judiciary system because as it is right now, I think going forward, people may find it difficult to take their cases to the court or contact lawyers, you know, to take their matter to court. Because with what happened at the presidential election, election tribunal, it's a clear sign that the judiciary has lost it totally and they have lost confidence on this uh, part of the masses because right now with what is going on apart from my personal view with what is going on right now everybody every individual or most nigerians are now tired of the, the judicial system and everybody wants to just believe in what they can do for themselves according to the judge according to the judgment so what i see is that the will of people prevail. So, secondly, and the, the way and the manner the, the judge go. So, to me, it is quite 
okay, it's perfect, okay. So there's no problem about it. To, to me, it, the best thing has been done to Nigeria.